Hi, I'm Leah Liebowitz. I'm Todd Gitlin. We are the authors of The Chosen Peoples. America, Israel, and the Ordeals of Divine Election. So the first thing we're trying to do in this book is to say that America and Israel have this distinct quality of being rooted very deeply, fundamentally, and from the beginning in an idea about having been singled out by God. This is not just a walk in the park. This is a very demanding uh, business that requires of a people, not simply that they bask in a sense of their own glory and goodness, but that they actually deliver on a compact, on a promise. The idea of divine election is probably one of the strangest ones you'll find. Uh, at no point, even those who believe themselves to have been chosen by God uh, are not always sure why and are not always sure to which end. This idea uh, of chosenness has both inspired America and Israel to uh, climb to some of the highest peaks of their history and also uh, commit some of the most egregious sins uh, of their time. Many of the contemporary questions that get people agitated would be much m more fully and seriously addressed if we ask this penetrating question about our histories, namely, why do we think uh, we deserve this standing? A lot of this book has to do with events that took place hundreds and thousands of years ago. But what this book is really about, uh, it's about the events of today. If you look at America, it's, it's world in two wars. Uh, its economy is not in a good place. Uh, if you look at Israel, it has uh, to deal with the question of the settlements, with international condemnation. And instead of asking themselves the big questions, both countries are sort of busy with these political piffles that really don't address any of the fundamental issues at hand. What we need to do the, then is to understand chosenness and to understand that there are two possible interpretations for it. The one that sees it as a divine mandate, a license to do whatever one pleases, and the other that sees it as an ordeal, as a call to responsibility, as a call to a higher standard. And I think that if America and Israel choose that latter interpretation, that interpretation that sees it as a burden to shoulder, then I think we would be off to a much better future.